In 1911, Italy joins the hunt for territory. Libya, on the other side of the Mediterranean Sea, is the target. Landings were made at Tripoli, Benghazi, Zwara, Sirt, Derna, and Tobruk. The local population, fighting on many fronts, made fierce and resolute resistance to the invaders, thus bringing the war to a stalemate. The Italian colonization of Libya refers to the period from 1911 to 1943 when Italy established and maintained colonial rule over Libya, a North African territory located on the southern coast of the Mediterranean Sea. The colonization began with Italy's first invasion of Libya in 1911 and lasted until the end of World War II. Many events escalated from the Italians' first entrance to the Libyan lands, resulting in many effects on both countries regarding economic, political, social, and environmental states. Before the Italian colonization, Libya was part of the Ottoman Empire. Libya had a long history of diverse influences and cultural exchanges. Islam was introduced to Libya in the 7th century with the Arab conquest, and it became the predominant religion. Libya's economy was primarily based on agriculture with the cultivation of crops such as wheat, barley, olives, and dates. Overall, Libya before the Italian colonization was characterized by a diverse and multi-ethnic population, with various cultural influences and a history of trade, illustrating perspectives of both countries, encountering the impact of colonialism on the social, political, economic, and environmental state of both countries. Literary works diverted between poems and novels, such as The Silence of the Sea by Vincenzo Consolo and The Struggles of the Martyrs by Ali al-Mabruk that demonstrated the impact of the Italian colonization of Libya and the changes that occurred in both countries using literary devices such as similes, metaphors, symbolism, and imagery. The Silence of the Sea by Vincenzo Consolo is a novel that explores the historical events and consequences of the Italian colonization of Libya. It sheds light on the political, social, and cultural dynamics of it and its impact on both countries. Its purpose is to highlight the resilience, resistance, and cultural identity of the Libyan people during that period. It is written from a third-person perspective that enhances a broader understanding of the events and a deeper exploration of various characters' perspectives, providing in-depth understanding of the effect of the Italian colonization on both the Italian and Libyan societies. The following The Struggles of the Martyrs by Ali al-Mabruk implies the loss of culture in Libya during the Italian colonization period. Its purpose is to honor the martyrs and their sacrifices and to celebrate the Libyan spirit of resistance. Imagery is used to evoke a sense of pride, unity, and remembrance among the readers. The perspective is likely to be from the point of view of the martyrs themselves or those who are closely associated with them. This perspective provides an intimate and first-handed account of their struggles, allowing readers to empathize with their experiences and gain a deeper understanding of their sacrifices. In The Silence of the Sea by Vincenzo Consolo, the author uses symbolism to demonstrate to the audience the evil and monstrous nature of the Italian colonization emphasizing their motivation for occupying Libya. Throughout the novel, the Italian country is shown motivated by imperial ambitions and the desire to establish a colonial empire comparable to other European powers, which is why Italy sought to gain control over Libya. In the novel, the Italian government justified its colonization efforts by claiming to bring civilization, development, and modernity to the region. The author uses symbolism of the crocodile, which symbolizes the predatory and ruthless nature. The events of the Italian colonization of Libya led to numerous social impacts on both countries. Although same events occurred, but the perspective of each country and its society were significantly different. In the poem The Struggles of the Martyrs by Ali al-Mabruk, the author uses imagery to portray the imposition of Italian language and attempts to erase rich Libyan culture. The author uses imagery to create a visual representation of the oppressive forces. Italian boots upon our land. The purpose of this line is to convey the sense of oppression experienced by the Libyan people due to the colonization. Italian became the official language of government and education, promoting Italian culture in Libya. This policy led to the marginalization of Arabic language and culture and contributed to the fragmentation of Libyan society. This is portrayed through the contrast used that emphasizes the struggle to preserve culture by contrasting it with the oppressive forces of colonization. This action was considered a huge success to Italy, establishing itself as a colonial power and was celebrated by the Italian public, contributing to a sense of national identity and achievement. The Italian colonization of Libya had significant political impacts on both Italy and Libya, shaping their political landscapes and relations in different ways. 
During the colonial period, Italy exerted complete political control over Libya, which was governed by, as a colony of the Italian Empire. The Italian government imposed its political institutions, legal system, and administrative structures on Libya, effectively suppressing Libyan political identity and autonomy. This led to widespread resentment among the Libyan population and contributed to the rise of nationalist movements that sought to end Italian colonial rule later on. Italy sought economic benefits from its political control over Libya. It implemented policies to exploit Libyan resources, such as agricultural product and oil extraction, for the benefit of the Italian economy. Italian companies and settlers profited from the economic opportunities in Libya. Overall, the political impact of the Italian colonization on Libya was profound and long-lasting. The imposition of Italian political institutions and the policy of divide and rule contributed to the marginalization and fragmentation of Libyan society and had a lasting impact on the country's political development. The Italian colonization of Libya had significant economic impacts on both Italy and Libya both during the colonial period and in the years that followed. The Exploitation of Libyan Sources the Italian colonial authorities viewed Libya as a source of valuable resources of oil, minerals, and agricultural products. They implemented policies to extract these resources for the benefit of Italy. The exploitation of resources contributed to the country's underdevelopment. Italy gained access to valuable resources in Libya, including fertile agricultural lands and oil reserves. These resources provided economic opportunities for Italian companies and contributed to Italy's overall economic growth. It's important to note that the economic impact of Italian colonization varied across regions and communities within Libya. While Italy benefited economically from its control over Libya, the economic effects on Libya were largely negative, characterized by resource extraction, exploitation, and limited economic development. The Italian colonization of Libya had significant environmental impacts on both Italy and Libya. During the Italian colonization of Libya, the Italians implemented extensive agricultural projects and introduced new agricultural practices in Libya, which led to deforestation and land degradation. Forests were cleared to make way for agricultural land, resulting in the loss of natural habitats and increased soil erosion. Italy benefited economically from the expo exploitation of Libya's natural resources, such as oil, minerals, and agricultural products. However, this ex extraction and transportation of resources from Lib Libya to Italy had environmental consequences, including pollution from industrial activities and the carbon footprint associated with resource extraction and transportation. Overall, the economic impact of the Italian colonization on Libya was more pronounced and negative. The extensive agricultural projects, deforestation, Water depletion and introduction of non-native species contributed to environmental degradation, desertification, and loss of natural resources in Libya. Italy, on the other hand, benefited economically from the exploitation of Libya's resources, but may have experienced more localized environmental impacts associated with resource extraction and the introduction of non-native species. After the Italian colonization of Libya, the country underwent significant changes and faced enduring challenges. The impact of colonization on Libya was multifaceted, leaving behind a complex legacy that continues to shape the nation today. Politically, the fight for self-determination and the establishment of a new government marked a turning point in Libyan history, as the nation sought to assert its sovereignty and rebuild its political identity. Socially, Libya has made efforts to revive its cultural identity, preserve its heritage, and address past injustices fostering a sense of collective pride and resilience. Economically, Libya has since aimed to assert control over its resources and diversify its economy for sustainable development. Environmentally, during the post-colonial era, Libya has made efforts to combat desertification, promote sustainable land management practices, and address environmental concerns. In conclusion, the legacy of Italian colonization continues to influence Libya's relations with Italy and shapes the nation's identity, politics, economy, and environment. Libya's journey after colonization has been one of the resilience as it strives to overcome historical burdens and build a future based on self-determination, social justice, economic development, and environmental sustainability. The Italian colonization of Libya, which occurred from 1911 to 1943, was unfair in terms of political, environmental, social, and economic aspects. Politically, 
its decolonization was motivated by imperial ambitions rather than the genuine welfare of the Libyan people. It resulted in the suppression of Libyan political autonomy and the imposition of Italian rule. Environmentally, the Italians exploited Libya's resources without adequate regard for its sustainability, leading to environmental degradation. Economically, the Italians prioritized their own interests, exploiting Libya's resources and labor for their own benefit, while offering limited economic development to the local population. Socially, the Italians imposed their Italian language and attempted to erase rich Libyan culture forcefully. Overall, the Italian colonization of Libya was marked by an unjust exercise of power and resources, resulting in long-lasting negative impacts on the Libyan people.